Will you? Well, I will. The two most powerful words in the English language are I will. Because what comes after I will will shape your life. What you speak after I will, what you believe after the words I will, will control your decisions and shape your life totally. If you believe you will succeed, you will succeed. If you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will achieve those great things. You will attempt those great things in the first place. If you speak into your life resilience and determination to overcome anything, you will be ready to face and overcome anything. Friends, let the power of I will shape your life in the most powerful way. What you speak after I will is important. What you believe after the words I will will control your decisions and shape your life. Friends, if you believe you are strong, if you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will attempt those great things in life. I will love. I will be strong. I will be successful. I will be an achiever. I will be abundant. I will be rich. I will be determined. I will be focused. I will be disciplined. I will be healthy. I will be wealthy. I will be beautiful. I will be wise. I will be capable of anything. I will be someone who makes things happen. I will be filled with faith. I will be blessed. I will be grateful to God. I will believe in God. I will thank God for making me a miracle. I will be connected. I will be with God 24-7. I will be more than my body. I will be empathetic towards others. I will be ready for others. I will be focused with others. I will be excited. I will be a fighter. I will be more than enough. I will be a winner. And friends, I will be a champion. Friends, you can't just speak the words. You must feel the words. And then you must believe those words, I will. Repeat them every single day. Let them soak into your subconscious. Dream about the words, I will. Because what follows them, let the power become one with you. Are you ready to be great? I will. Replace I want with I will. What comes after I will is the most important thing you could say. Instead of saying I want to be rich, just say I will be rich. Say it, feel it, feel it until you believe it. I will love. I will be strong. I will be successful. I will be abundant. I will be rich. I will be determined. I will be focused. I will be disciplined. I will be capable of anything. I will be strong. I will be a strong person. I will be limitless. Thoughts are powerful, my friends. Thoughts lead to actions, my friends. Actions over time become habits, and habits lead to long-lasting results. If you speak negativity into your life, negativity will show up in your life. I will be me, and I want you to be you. Now stay tuned and join for today's message. Take care. Good morning. My name is Ralph Riggs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and author, and the host of this show to take your life back today. Radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube channel, Take Your Life Back Today Show. I am a Christian under construction. Depending on who you talk to, construction zones are not the places of peace and contentment. They are chaotic and dangerous. Most people will say that they are messed up uh, and they're so messed up. They are places. uh, They could be dangerous places, messed up places and oftentimes unsightly places to look at. I am a Christian under construction. In uh, Paul uh, 1, 1 through 6, Paul and Timothy the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are uh, at Philippi, with the bishops and the deacons, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all make a request with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who begun a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus Christ. Now, I want to repeat something that I started at the beginning. Depending on who you are and depending on who you talk to, construction zones are not the places of peace and contentment. 
They are chaotic and dangerous. Most people will say they are messed up. Uh, they're so messed up those places that they can be dangerous places and oftentimes unsightly places to look at. Construction zones have lots of bumps, lane changes, starts and stops, backed up delays and falling hazards. They are dirty and they are no, uh, noisy, disorganized, confused, untidy, hectic and disgusting places. However, if you are talking to an architect, they will say that the construction zone is a beautiful despite of all of its chaos that is going on because they envision what the end product is going to be like and uh, what it's going to look like. And they are looking at, it, at this as a process to get from here to there. My wife and I, we watch a show called Property Brothers. And they take a couple and show them a house and how they can transform that house into their dream home. Most of the people will say, uh, I can't see how you are going to take this space and turn it into my dream home. But the pro Property Brothers, they somehow envision what the end product will look like. And uh, then they work uh, to bring that vision into reality. The process of bringing that vision into reality is construction uh, of the house. And they set up a construction zone and it's going to say under construction Contrary to how it may look to you right now, in spite of what it may appear like to you, regardless of the smile I may have, ha have on my face and preferably the delightful, uh, uh, compassionate and loving disposition I try to portray beyond the suit and the tie, I don't have it all together you, uh, when you see me on Sundays. You see me standing here and, and I pray that what you see is good. However, what you don't see and you don't understand is what you are looking at uh, uh, standing here, uh, you know, possibly on a Sunday in front of the church. And uh, you might even see me out in a store or something with a tie. But it's a construction zone because I'm a Christian under construction. There is some hazardous material that is falling here and there and hammering and drilling and going on. There is some st uh, stuff that has taken place in the construction zone that is actually should cause me to, to wear a sign around my neck and says, danger, construction zone, keep away. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I had a, a, a customer there. I am a Christian under construction zone. I don't have it all together, but please be patient with me. God is not through with me yet. Paul said it was like this. I count not myself to have apprehend. In other words, I am not here uh, and I'm not there yet. Yes, I am better than I was, uh, but I am not where I should be. Uh, in some people's eyes, I may even seem like a chaotic mess. But 1 John 3, 2 says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God and uh, doeth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. I am the process of progress. I am under construction. I am a Christian under construction. As I said, I am better than I was, but I'm not yet where I shall be. Truthfully, we are all in the process of progress. We, at different levels, in the process and our progress is different and we all go in different speeds. However, we are all under construction. All of us in life itself. The process of putting something together, building something for the purpose of something else. People build houses to live in, stores to shop at, stadiums to have sporting events, etc. A movement toward a goal or to a further higher stage growth or development continues improvement, the development of an individual or society in a direction considered more beneficial than the superior to the previous level. For an example, there is good, better, or best. I am a Christian under construction. I am at a good, I soon to get better, and one day the best. Good is okay, but it's not as great as better. And better, although it's greater than good, fails the comparison to the best. If you have been sick, and then one day you feel good, the next day you feel better and yesterday, than yesterday, and the next day you are at your best, that is the process of progress. 
The problem with progress is that progress can be fatal until the process is completed or finished. Finished always seems to be far away. In an our house in the basement next to the washer and the dryer, we have a table. This table collects all the clothes as we pull them out of the dryer because we don't often fold the clothes. Uh, the moment they come out uh, of the dryer, this table builds up until the clothes are almost up to uh, the ceiling. My wife and I, we hate when we finally have to decide to, uh, it's time to fold them because the clothes have been sitting there all this time and uh, uh, we, we need to finish it. And finish seems to be so far off. It's such a far away. So um, that is our goal, to always progress to get better. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And always remember, a simple smile to a stranger will change that stranger's life. It can change your life. God truly loves you. I am a Christian under construction. I am better than I was yesterday. I'm not as good as I want to be tomorrow. And I don't want to uh, go back to yesterday. Christian under construction. Take good care and may God bless each and every one of you. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.